Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> Hey man. Hey Mizzoula. I'm I'm coming out to Vegas. Uh, oh Bonnie. Oh Bonnie. Who owes ten dollars? Bonnie. She has to uh, give ten dollars to a charity that she won't like. Look at the poop menu. Look at the poop menu. Do you want a nutty poop or a green old turdy poop? Turdy poopy, nitty poopy, nutty poopy, turdy poopy. Hey, don't we have a do we have a legit one on the uh, on the diamond time today? I don't know. Can I... Is that the fun time that Justin was talking yeah. about? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I guess uh, we could do that. I was trying to pull up the list people had made, but that is a very good idea. Yeah. Uh, man, uh, yeah, just let me just get out out of the way. I uh, man, so engulfed in the OE, I barely made it to the door on that uh, that that transitioning. I wanted to go back for that really sad diamond time, <laughs> and and then it was like I panicked and I threw a flaming turd bag, <laughs> <laughs> and, totally and I just uh, just made just don't think that I thought that was cool. <laughs> I don't think that you thought that that was cool. Uncool by me. A major uncool by me. <laughs> Oh. We need like a a palate cleanser after the sad ones. Yeah, with you want to uh... watch more smash and sad videos? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too much? Not neutral enough? Mm. Oh, dude, what? Rotten Tomatoes got some reviews for Secret Life of Pets. Oh, 82%. shit. 82%. Yeah. 82 right. out of 28. Not too bad. Big yeah. names? Do we got big names? How much do our kids want to see it? AP? AP likes it? Oh. They will go to any movie anytime. They Have you seen <laughs> some of these things they watch? Tolerable. Like, like I came in and Penny looked horror stricken. I looked at the TV and I was just like, oh my gosh, what just happened? It was like this, this um, what is it? Like a, a soap opera and this boy is holding this his girlfriend and she's she says, my tail. <laughs> oh, she's watching Mako Mermaids. <laughs> yeah. And apparently the dragon caught her and she lost her tail. She lost tail. her tail. No. Can, yeah. I, can I ask, uh, all right, can I, can I make a judgment on one of your children <laughs> real quick? Mm. Mm. I'm, just, I'm just asking. I'm asking. Yes, this is of course question. you can. This is, this, this is maybe a leading question. Because hmm. you know I, I, I have an investment in your family. I very yeah. much enjoy uh, having uh, a place uh, to crash. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy Jerry. being an extended member of the of the Brushwood universe. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. Of all the instruments for Josie to oh to, my to learn on, God, she right? does not strike me as having the steeled patience of somebody who would die. I mean, you have to be borderline autistic. To like yeah. okay. really like become proficient let in the violin, you, right? Let me give you some flashpoints. Snapshot. Me picking up Josie from uh, oh my god, it does look like a dildo. What? Go 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 back to Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, this is terrible. Why would no, you say no, that? No, no, look at this. <laughs> There's a dog about to eat a red dick. Oh, oh. I, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what that bad. looks like. I don't know. Oh, that's her leg. Why? What? what? That's she, what? It's, it's her, her leg. leg. It's her knee. That's her knee? Yes. How is that her knee? Because it's a Disney movie. Because she's kneeling on the ground. Oh, Jesus. I'm glad I'm not the one who made the weirdest comment about a kid in the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that fucked up. Really it really looks strange. like she's about to shove a red dildo in his mouth. <laughs> and they're having a good time. Dumb. <laughs> a great night. Still a great night. Um, uh, okay. All right. God, he's got the glands and everything. Um, oh, Brian. I'm so I'm sorry. Proper anatomy offend you. Um. Okay. So. Uh, I go to pick Josie up from her guitar lesson, and the receptionist says, uh-oh, you're in for it now. 
And I walk in as if I've discovered them in some act. And and Josie goes, Dad, I want a violin! <laughs> and so I was like, oh, well, she's like, hey, please get one all night long. Bonnie is out taking a class. And I'm like, yeah, we're not picking this today. We're not doing this today. Whatever. And um, she's like, well, I want, it, I want a violin. I want a violin. I want a violin. And all, was th- all I'm thinking was like, they're so loud. They're so loud. They're so loud. And um, the next day, she was like, oh, can I have a violin? I was like, oh, well, you know, talk to your mom and so on. Um, and uh, and I t- and I called Bonnie. I'm like, hey, this is happening. And Bonnie's like, tell her to ask grandma. <laughs> yeah, because like, then- <laughs> like grandma like took violin lessons. So in my thinking, I'm just like, oh, and that'll end the story. Because she'll ta- uh, talk uh, about, uh, 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 how, she'll hard talk about how hard it is and how much you have to practice and how like. Unfortunately, you- we live in a world where uh, Amazon which, has violins. Which, which, which grandma? Which grandma? Oh, my mom. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, come on. I would have known how that ended. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the problem is we live in a world where Amazon literally has violins for $60. $60 for a violin. Uh, and so and so she asked, and she got By the it. way, I just realized that, that what you guys are, you are $66, doing. $66, and, and, yeah. And, and parenting That's the is really just your first lesson in bureaucracy. Yeah. Is that when, when you want to kill the bill, but don't want to be the one who killed the bill? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Passing I, I, it from committee to committee to committee until eventually <laughs> it, it dies from lack of enthusiasm. Well, yeah. And, oh my God, you're so right. I do that all the time now. Smash <laughs> cut. It's like, ah, go talk to your dad. I don't know. We're gonna have to send it to that uh, Ways and Means Committee. Uh, uh, you know, we'll see. I mean, just gotta do my due diligence. You know, I can't just uh, run off all willy nilly. Big Jim says you'll be lucky if that violin lasts for over a year. Uh, no, Big Jim, I'll be lucky. If it doesn't last over a oh, yeah. year, I guarantee you she'll be saying, "I don't want to go to practice." And immediate, like two well, weeks from now, she'll cut, be bored. Cut to, Alrighty. cut to the next time I see my children arguing and yelling at each other, and the debate they're settling is whether or not that's a red fucking dildo being shoved oh, into Brian, a dog's Brian, mouth. That's Brian, wow! Stop. Wow! That is wow. inappropriate. I'm sorry. Never. <laughs> not a child. A child's <laughs> knee. <laughs> I'm now, sorry. a very hungry uh, dog's mouth. I sure. Mean, I mean, like, like out of the corner of the eye. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not getting any better the closer you get. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> nom nom dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Now it looks more like a dildo than you see. Oh, god damn. Um, so, so the next time I hear them arguing is I find out that the reason Josie wants a violin is because she did so well with everyone complimented her on how good she was at it. And she goes, oh, no, he said I was really good at it. And then Penny's like, you know, it takes like, you know, an insane amount of work to be good at a violin. She goes, no, he said I was good. It's going to be easy. <laughs> and then Penny's like, no. And and coming in as the arbiter, I had to kind of explain like, yeah, no, literally violin is the definition of the hardest, most, you know, practice shit you could do. <clears throat> now, like, is she into violin music? She wasn't. And then she... That's I, I may have fed this. We're 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 driving out to this party, uh, and uh, and she goes, Dad, is there any cool rock and roll music that's done with uh, with violins? And uh, you know, I, I played a couple things, and then and then all of a sudden it hit me, and the thing that I played for her, <clears throat> oh well, I guess Lindsey Sterling, I I I forwarded over to her, um, but oh, uh, no, and she's so cute, this Lindsey Sterling. Oh my god. Yeah. What was it, 150 million views on her crap? Yeah, watch yeah. out. Yeah. Well, she does also like she does the big covers and everything, but she's great. Like she's she's very very very. I mean, good. she's she, she's practiced what a year more than she's Josie? probably practiced a <laughs> lot. Dun dun dun. <laughs> uh, yeah, but what I ended up playing for her because I didn't think of Lindsey Sterling. I played on Spotify. I found the two cellos of Thunderstruck. <laughs> And I played it for for Josie, and it was like her eyes got big as dinner plates, and she replayed it. I heard her replaying it over and over and over again. I explained that, uh, yeah, there you go, up top. Uh, yeah. Anyway, she she just kept playing it over and over again and loved it. I mean, 
a lot of people are pointing out that, like, you know, if you got her into, you know, bluegrass, that, like, fiddling is definitely, like, the, 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 the crack to the cocaine of violin, right? Like, it is the, the easier way to play the instrument in a certain style of music. Wait, is, is, how is fiddling different from violin? It's the same instrument. Basically, just, uh, instead of the, like, very articulate, like, keeping a Nuanced, right. This, this is like, I'll get it right somewhere in here. Yeah. Yeah. Except she really didn't like country music. <laughs> yeah, no, if she hates country, because that's the thing. It's like, when I, when I mentioned the thing about the violin, it wasn't to say that she could not play an instrument, because the guitar, I could very much see with her because like that, like, like she is somebody that is, uh, uh, impulsive and expressive. And that is an impulsive and expressive instrument. A violin is like something that you need to like live inside your own head to like understand the difference between like the very the certain way that you've moved your hand and, and the other very certain way that you've moved your hand. You can't just like make it up by strumming another time. Jackie Hearn says, hells yeah, get her a guitar. She has a guitar. That's why we didn't want to get her a violin. <laughs> and she plays the guitar very quietly up in her room. Violin, not so much. I mean, we'll find out. Tune oh, in it, next it, week. It, 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 it's still on its way. By the way, Attica, no, no, no. It, it arrived today. Uh, I guess they set it up. I don't know. Instrument, by, by the way, for everyone shouting WPR, for, um, instruments are free now. Yeah. <laughs> I have they proclaimed are a lot cheaper it. Than they were it is true. Yeah. All yeah. instruments are free. Pick up well, any instrument. Especially if you want to get a cheap one for a kid to just learn on, and it's not very good, and it Correct. won't last forever. Like she, she got like a $30 guitar or some crap. Yeah, man, she ain't recording like like at the Fillmore tomorrow, right? Yeah. Like, like she's playing. It's a thing to learn a thing. It's effectively a play school oh, instrument. Dude. Actually, Jotman, don't tempt me. He says, get her a melodica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why don't you do that? That's great. They're like, listen, Dad is delighted when hearing any of this. I love I love the comment that violins are too loud. I'm just imagining Brian turning into Homer Simpson. Just <laughs> Bet it, Josie! Josie! Stop playing it so loud! I'm trying to make my comedy! Yeah. <sighs> uh, so did, did did Penny never get bitten by the, the instrument bug? No, or? She's, she's playing the piano. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, oh, she's the piano. Oh, the piano. No, I know that. Yeah, I know yeah, singing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what's so funny is you know how children rebel? It's like they're, Penny's way of rebelling is to... Uh, Not give up? No, well, she's... She, like sings opera stuff and i'm like who are you like whose family did you come from like she's she's doing like classical music and opera and i'm like oh you know <laughs> you know she would be the way if you say oh no penny got a violin i'd be like makes sense totally makes sense because that makes more sense with her personality she's she is an introspective person yeah <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, hey, hey! It's a little repetitive. <laughs> Pop music tends to be. God, yeah, that just reminds me of all those nights in college when everybody, you know, uh, got too high and they wanted to freestyle rap and then just didn't. So <laughs> you just listen to the same instrumental for about a minute before you remember that somebody was supposed to start rapping. You know, I say that if we if we get a if we get more more people signed up on Patreon, we ought to get Callie some drums so we'll have like the, the Bonnie, what, are you, what are you doing <laughs> Bonnie, what? what are you doing Bonnie <laughs> that's a horrible Christ. thing to say <laughs> even when none of the kids are awake I, I... is Semiel inside Bonnie right now Bonnie can you hear me <laughs> <laughs> no I say just put them all together and then that Callie's be gonna like... play the calliope or nothing at all <laughs> Hey, I mean, at this point, I mean, Callie would have to be the drummer, right? If I mean, you're yeah. going to have a three-girl, if you guys are going to be 
like Haim, right? Isn't isn't <laughs> Haim a a three sister band? Oh yeah, uh, I saw uh, they showed up in one of the documentary now things, right? Yeah. So yeah, three sister I mean, band. The Blue Jean At Committee. this point, Callie would have to be the drum. So is it, this is what Girl Hanson? <laughs> is that what Haim is short for? Girl no, Hanson. They're actually they're actually really good. I oh, dude, Hanson was good. No, no, they weren't. I mean, not Haim good. Mm -hmm. Does it, wait, who's drumming? This is a synth. Well, this is more of a, yeah, more of a, more of a dance song. They have a, a what was their big single? Somebody remind me of their mm. bop. Not all oh, bop. Oh, jeez, you. <laughs> oh, you. Uh, and their new, uh, yeah, you saw that they actually released The Wire, their own... that's it. The Wire, that was their. You saw they released their own beer. This is not even a joke. It's it's called Mm Hop. Like like that sounds it sounds like a, a Jay Leno set up an execution. That's an actual thing. Mm hop is there. It is. Oh, mm hops. Mm -hops. Mm -hops. Mm -hops. The guys that invented mm bop, Hanson Brothers. <laughs> That's pretty legit. If it doesn't play a midi of mm bop right now, <laughs> I mean they probably don't own mm bop, right? I, if they wrote it, I would imagine they. Well, you get into labels and record companies. Wow, look at them. Look at them. Look, look at them. them. No, they're like dudes who would make beer now. <laughs> so which one was the one that looked like... Which one's the oldest? So right much now, look like at, a chick. Would that be the one on the left? I think it's the one on the right. I think it's the no, that one. was the one with the, with, with the curly hair. That like definitely looked like a dude who was just about to sell weed within the next six months. Boodle beetle buzz. <laughs> People are saying it should be our beer. <laughs> Boodle beetle buzz. Oh man, that's amazing. I'm so glad to actually see what a melodica looks like. Hey, by the way, number one. All right, how much is a melodica? <laughs> <laughs> Sunbud says they do move in herds. <laughs> Man, I'm going to Amazon right now. I'm looking no. up how much a melodica is. <laughs> All right, we got uh, 50 bucks. 50, 30. But you can get a cheap 20 30. bucks. Oh, damn. All right, number one, which is on Prime? Here we go. I'm buying the $34 one. I'm sending it to your house. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's, here's what I want to happen, okay? I want you to just leave it on your kitchen counter. <laughs> because oh, one of your girls is going to pick it up, right? And one of them is going to realize that it is the key to their father's heart. That there's no there's no terrible way to play it that oh won't make God. their dad laugh so hard he collapses. <sighs> Add to cart. <laughs> See the checkout. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, I can't even argue that with that logic. Um, and now all the kids have started their um, their new chapter in um, in what is it? Novelty songs. Uh, Which is oh, really, yeah, truly no. the key so, to dad's heart. Uh, yeah, so it is. Holy cow. Uh, shipping address. <laughs> Bonnie and Brian Brushwood. <laughs> I already have it stored. Oh, dear. <laughs> Use this address. Place your order. <laughs> oh, is this Bonnie's belt punishment? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. This the is a Melodica new chapter. We'll be there on Thursday. <laughs> Hanson put out an album in 2013. Oh, really? We got to listen to it. Let's hear one song. Well, it's wow. not produced no. by... Uh, uh, by the way, I, have we talked about this on the show, uh, the Dust Brothers website? That it's frozen in time from 2000, dustbrothers.com? I think we went to go see it. This is a good sign. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, flash. yeah allow, allow it all. Allow it all. Oh. Goo! <laughs> Here, get get ready. Let's uh let's read up on uh It's kind of cool and how old it is. Love it. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. Let's. What's the latest dust news? Okay, yeah, let's hit dust news. <laughs> what? Up? What's up? Oh boy. Yeah. All right. Keep going. Let's return to dust news. Best of '96 lists. That's, yeah. That's where we are. Uh, go to Dust Brothers. Yeah. Oh, T2, there's no guarantee that this was made before the podcast awards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, go to, there's there's like a blog. If you, here, yeah. <laughs> Easy mic, maybe? On, on Hanson. Hey, look at that. Hey, man, there's a, a distinction between songs that we write and songs we just produce. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great opening to uh, give a, uh, uh, a a testimonial for that music. Oh wait, did they produce Hanson? Yeah, they did. They did Mbop. They they produced Mbop. He says, uh, "Blah blah blah." Took me right back to when I was seven or eight or whatever. We're just fans of all kinds of music. We have tens of thousands of records of blah 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 blah. Please stop hating us because we produced Mbop. Oh jeez, that's great. The this website looks like a Jerk City comic. Have you ever seen Jerk City? It looks uh, exactly like it. I I feel like I have now. Uh, what's what's on under King Gizmo? Uh, here we go, King Gizmo. <laughs> oh, these are just. Oh, on Beck. Here we go. Oh, are they silent. They're silent on Beck. <laughs> That's lovely. That's great. Oh, is that whenever you click on the page? Whenever yes. you mouse over their home button. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it, it overlaps. Jump. Oh. What about PCP Labs? This is a useful page. <laughs> so great. I'd go back, but we'd hear the bustle. <laughs> Too late. Oh. Oh, I heard. I, I know this music. Yeah, Hold you on. do. That's what I was hoping you'd find. Oh. Mesmerizing. Uh, like, uh, there should be something here. This almost feels like there should be something here. I mean, it says dust samples. Almost. Maybe some melodica music. <laughs> uh, all right, wait. All right, so so rank your feelings on a, on a scale of 1 to 10 that a melodica is on its way to your house. Oh, dude. Um, what... Uh, there's only number one. <laughs> like, like that's literally the best thing in the world. Also, uh, I hope my children are away when it arrives because you know someone's got to take it out of the package and try it out, make sure it works. <laughs> I mean, you have to. You have to at some point give it to them. It is a gift for them. Which of them they decide. Which means it will be a fight, and there will be somebody who cries. Justin was smiling too big at the thought of the Rushwood girls fighting over the melodic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look, they fight, they fight over sunlight. One of them, like, here's my only motivation, is that at some point you guys are at the point where these kids are going to try musical instruments and they want to, tr like, apply themselves with these kind of skills. Right. There is no other instrument that will be as humorous for you to suffer through their trials and tribulations than a melodica. Yeah, that, but that has to be the only, like, full and complete, the one entry list of, like, bearable ways that you will watch <laughs> them suffer through a musical instrument, right? Uh, uh, yes. Also, for the record, Bonnie, I'm going to buy a theremin, an actual theremin. <laughs> well, this I'm is going to be the best uh, family <laughs> band ever. <laughs> Oh, by the way, we know what our Christmas card is going to be like this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally. By the way, Bonnie, this ends with you learning the singing song. <laughs> oh, I might could do that. <laughs> Can I play a washboard? Only if you call it a washboard. 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 Uh, I, wash I don't know. I mean, like, like you could stick. even just go full country jug. Mm. Oh, Brian! See, you're you already doing so it. <laughs> you're born for it. Wash. Hey, before we buy any more musical instruments, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill Joy. I'm sorry. I just got a little bit of paperwork. 
Uh, we got some titles here. We got night.attack.2016.s1e124.webrip.diamondgroup.mp4. I and we're done. Yeah, <laughs> uh, unless it's nightattack.ep.124.htt. <laughs> I like this better because I, I like this one a little better. Uh, well, because it's the actual name of the episode. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> this show is so gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> that was, that was uh, I clicked on something in the chat room. This is, uh, I assume, uh, Todd oh. Cochran reading off uh, a list of <laughs> the LGBT <laughs> community awards. This show is so gay. This show is so gay. Oh my God, it we <laughs> If we're, if we're Scott Johnson, that's the open. That's every episode from now on, right? Just, on the yeah, soundboard I immediately? Email this link to myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I, I was so I, I went and did a, a little uh, revisiting of uh, all of our friends uh, talking about the podcast awards over the last uh, the last week. Oh, what was that like? Because, that was because the greatest gift the podcast awards could give to to the community. It's was, just was giving a everybody a fire ass sec one. Sorry, say again. Uh, the, the best gift that the podcast awards could give the, this uh, community was giving everybody a fire ass seg one. Yeah, dude. Uh, it, it, it was seg two on uh, uh, Penn Sunday School because uh, uh, it was um, uh, Matt Donnelly, and he was talking it the whole time. He was talking about all the beats that we had. And I was waiting for like, uh, teach the controversy, <laughs> and then uh, and then they did not. So I thought that was amazing. Wait, what did he won one? Yeah, 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 for Ice Cream Social. And but but he talked about the whole like you have to have your fans uh, nominate you and then buy your own award and all that stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, Potixes. Um So wait, we didn't run anybody against them, or did he? Beat they were under us? comedy. So no, we we didn't have a comedy entry. What well, we did, it was the juice was juice was. Oh yeah, and that was the one where we were we well. I you mean, know like, what? Like know that that we 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 would have won. Um. Okay. If, if we, we gave him that award. Uh, think about You're this. Welcome. Okay. Time out. Time out. Real quick. Knowing that they ended up talking about it on there, what if we had won? And it was the Giz Wiz, and it showed up on Penn Sunday School. I wonder what their opinion of, of our voting block would have been. I mean, you know, I don't know. It's not our voting block. The fans put the voting block. I mean, yes. Sorry. Uh, uh, did we buy any awards? I have not bought any awards. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that was the best part. Was he talked about the whole buying the award thing? And he goes, <laughs> and so he said he talked to uh, one of his producers and said, all right, so I guess your budget's $400. What can you get me for $400? <laughs> and then they're just going to build their own award for themselves. Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, God, there's part of me that just wants to, like, email with Todd and just be like, come on, man. Like, like we're all just dudes here, right? Like, can we just kind of make a, a a more reasonable thing here because i mean like all right real talk if it were a hundred bucks i'd pitch in just for the cause oh dude i would get one for everybody i'd get one for me and for bonnie <laughs> we'd put them on different Aww. sides of the bed <laughs> I'd pet it and even then I if it sleep. were if it were the first one free and then a hundred dollars after I, I'd, I'd be more likely to spend a hundred dollars well sure I, uh, uh, they don't even have the whole two hundred thing is just. Uh, it was like two ninety for the tiny one and oh, four fifty for the big one. Four forty for the large with shipping. It's uh two uh, almost three hundred for the small with shipping. Golly. And uh, what do this they is, look this like? This is how you order a surveymonkey dot com, where you put in your credit card number. Oh God. Yeah, about. <laughs> <laughs> can, can we go back to the Dust Brothers website? <laughs> that seems oh, horrible. so by the way, so I brought this to a, a trophy shop. <clears throat> yeah. To get it replicated, and uh, they did not do that there. They were more of an engraving place hmm. than a replication place. But, but they made it seem like it was 
the best way to do it was to just basically get all the blanks from Todd. He's like, hey, man, how, how much would it cost to just buy your blanks? <laughs> well, I mean, does he even have them? It sounds like he's... He'll probably do them on demand. Yeah, well, actually, I take that back because it I looks like those not. are all cast. He probably does. He probably had a whole run of them and is sitting on a bunch of blanks because yeah. the engraving is cheap. The the In fact, ooh, it would be irresponsible for me in public to suggest that maybe there was a lot of extra blanks left over from last year. Crickets. This episode of Night Attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry, I stepped on your on your line there. Uh, no, I'm thankful you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was much better that way. Well, good night, y'all. Good night, good night, Bonnie. Hey, y'all. Good night, Bonnie. <laughs> uh, dude, um, can you guys are, are are we hanging around for a bit or uh, cause I gotta I gotta take my contacts out. It's getting silly. You can hang for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm going to go take out the contacts and be right back. Then I'm going to uh, deal with a political flap. Oh, okay. I will say the, the podcast awards gave us our, like, most engaged tweet. Oh, really? Yeah, my phone was just blowing up this on, uh, when was the 27th? Oh, was that the one that everybody kept uh, uh, uh retweeting and then like retweeting somebody else retweeting yeah. like it was its own little thing and a thing and a thing yeah which was nice this was the monday after the next day i guess yeah uh no I, I i'll tell you what it was um uh you know it was it was a tremendous unifier of the community and it was it was kind of a a, a reminder of all that is good in the world uh, jury fact says, uh, did jury see the Comparo? What is the Comparo? Comparo? I don't know. Hold on a sec. The I don't know. Well, I mean, jury did not see the Comparo. I don't know what the Comparo is. Uh, and maybe it was a pre-show thing. Let me see if I can find that. Is that the, the bug? Or is that the bug? <laughs> Big Jim says, Jerry, why do we all, uh, only galvanize when we think people are out to get us? I think I don't think that's fair. I think we galvanize on on many occasions. I think that very often uh, we 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 galvanize. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. That's amazing, because you're always taking pictures at fucking gas stations with <laughs> Cherry Pepsis, right? Yes. They have tall boy Cherry Pepsis. And that's you with, 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 with the IWGP Intercontinental title on your shoulder. That's right. Cleaning clothes and cleaning house. <laughs> uh yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't think that we only do it in, in bad times. I think we definitely do it in bad times. But, like, I mean, you can't say that we only did it when the the Diamond Club book and shit came out, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, that was that was definitely a big thing. I think it's like, you know, really, that's that, to be honest, is really the, the, the larger kind of duty of this show is to keep creating moments where everybody can, like, feel good about being part of the crew. Yeah. Um, Do you see that Cell has zero positive reviews on uh, Rotten Tomatoes? The what? The what now? Uh, Stephen King movie, Cell, which makes me not super thrilled about. Um, uh, huh. What oh. about BFG? How did BFG do? Uh, BFG did bad. Oh yeah. BFG. Oh no. BFG did well critically. It did shit uh, in terms of the box office. Yeah, big fucking giant. I mean, I think that's part of the problem, right? Right. BFG only means one thing. <laughs> Big fucking gun, right? Yeah. yeah. It's got uh, 20 years of marketing on the BFG 9000. That's a bit of an uphill battle for like, a road rolled doll thing. I've never like, even heard of that children's story. Yeah, if it were just called Giant, and it's like Steven Spielberg presents Giant. <laughs> like, that the would, that big would be... friendly giant. Even though, yeah. yeah. It's like, well, 
Ó, oh, mai a, a jombék fölül, hogy jaj, 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 <laughs> I, th I think a number of people in the audience mis mistook my point when I was saying balls deep like I was talking about like if balls deep means inserting your balls deep into something unless your balls are fucking deformed they're Wait. not going more than two inches into a thing <laughs> ah! <laughs> I mean maybe you got some weird ass phallic tumor Man, I got balls like that kid's knee. It's pointing into that dog's mouth. <laughs> Go back, show that fucking red dildo going <laughs> into the dog's mouth. I swear to God, I'm this close to tweeting it. I need somebody to stop me. Give me one good reason to not tweet this. <laughs> give me, let me give me one goddamn reason. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. And tell me I shouldn't tell the world. <laughs> Why is this secret life of pets? Secretly about shoving a red dildo in a mop's mouth. <laughs> God damn, mop with a with a with a flashlight crammed in the middle of the mop. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> I mean it looks like he's really excited about this. I'm not it. signing off no, on this. I'm not is, signing off on this. The dog doesn't look all that interested, but the kid is really excited <laughs> for it to happen. The kid is like, I just got this from <laughs> adamandeve.com. Oh, Jesus, Brian. I used promo code Jesus. Darren5 at checkout, and I got two videos too saucy to even mention on this photo. <laughs> It's not a red rocket. Stop it. <laughs> You're not helping. You're not helping. Uh, oh. Someone said we should uh, get oh, these fuck. awards from Alibaba. We should get. We should buy those and give them to everyone. How much are they? They're uh, minimum 50 pieces, 5 they to can, $10 a piece. They can give a million to us a month. Is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> Let's buy one every second forever. <laughs> Oh, you could put a picture in it? Oh, oh boo. No, that's good. What? Mm. Okay. I guess. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we can... I don't know. There's been some backroom discussions of everybody getting the same uh, award made so we could just fraud... Wait, there has? Nobody told me? What? I got it, man. I'm handling it. Okay. Mm. Slash uh, Brian Ibbett is handling it. Mm. Slash David Michael is handling it. Um, oh, man. The morning stream was pretty delicious the next day. Did you listen to their thing? I went back and watched the whole thing. It was amazing. I may have watched it twice. Um, did you listen to the Angry Chickens? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. That must be. No, no. I listened inspiring. to Dills uh, on his yes, live stream Dills. talking about it. Oh, oh, Dills God, was amazing, Dills. dude. Oh no, no 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 no! Dills is the calm one. Oh, what? Wow. Dills Dills has won podcast awards before. He is not the like. I mean, understand this. Garrett, despite the amazing pro that he is, is still somebody for whom has like <laughs> done a Tess, lot of podcasts that, that nobody's listened to. Uh, sorry. This is apparently the uh, the cord killers trophy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it means we're number two. <laughs> the horse's butt loser trophy. That's great. Uh, yeah, dude. Like, like Garrett was like, and and makes the claim on on the on the angry chicken. He's like, hey, listen. When I used to listen to podcasts that I loved, I was excited as a fan when they would win podcast awards. This was my opportunity to enter into the same pantheon of my heroes. And on that moment, 
Dude had champagne to enjoy with his wife when he won the award and then had to get a figurative spit in his mouth from the awards themselves. And by the way, he's calmer than Joss, who is like fired up. I uh I I listened to the Distorted View uh summary of it the next day. They I think they were up for a comedy or uh People's Choice. Yeah, that, I listened to that one too. That was my that was the first podcast I ever listened to. Uh and what, what did they say? Uh 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 it was it was it was pretty even uh even level headed. Um but it just kind of contextualized it to me as like, oh, this thing that got me into it was also up for this and they you know cared and had a big fan base care about it sure sure uh, so it just puts more i don't know it, it it made the stakes seem a little higher yeah no he was also uh apparently also he loves your hair apparently yeah i was like this <laughs> this like uh, like like dancing source of rejection for him. Oh, like, Jesus. Yeah. Well, I mean, are, are you sure he wasn't talking about Dr. Bird? He was definitely talking about you? No, that was another dude, I think. Oh. That, a whole other dude, yeah. Okay, right on. No, this dude apparently was like, yeah, you know, uh, I listened to Daily Tech News Show, and I knew uh, I, I, I liked Justin on that show, so I looked him up, and I saw that he had cool hair, and I guess he tweeted me, that he thought that my hair looked cool because he's also going gray. And like he was like, Oh, this is oh, what I would yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, sure. You got you got the early Reed Richards shit going on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so then he's like, and then I find out that uh this other thing that I'd heard about from something else, the contender, uh, apparently he did the contender. And so then I'm listening to the podcast awards, and who do I lose to but <laughs> Justin Robert Young? That's amazing. That's... So, so I listened to his thing, and I I, uh, I I I reached out to him on Twitter, and I uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, just mentioned that when I'm in uh, Columbus next, that we should hang out, and that I, I listened to his show. I think his show is really good. I think that uh, it, it, he doesn't do video simulcast uh, regularly, but he said he might, and if he does, I think he would be very good on DiamondClub.tv. Oh my god, he would be so great because a lot of his show is like reacting to crazy videos. Columbus, huh? yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, you want Col to uh, you want you want to make peace with uh, the, make, the, make the Colombians? Peace. I didn't even know. I, I mean, I'll invite them into my house and hand them a knife and then bare my throat to them if that's. <laughs> I, I I didn't know there was a war happening. <laughs> uh, for the British Empire, <laughs> it doesn't. The sun never sets on Diamond Club. <laughs> nope. Nor then the blood never dries. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. I mean, uh, if you are in Columbus and you are thinking of having some kind of meetup. Well, I, d I don't know what time I'll have for that, right? Because it's going to be, I, I get in Monday night. Um, I guess I'm doing a performance and live stream Tuesday and then a performance and lecture on, on Wednesday. Uh, but maybe he wants to come out and see me perform stuff. It's weird because the, the stuff I want to say is heavier on the lecture side Mainly because I feel weird putting a lot of performance stuff into the performance side because, I mean, understand, literally most of my stage show I have I have taught in, over a series of scam school videos. Like they might may, maybe one routine gets broken into three elements. It, they don't. They don't care. Okay. Look, no, no, no. Just do the most comprehensive version. Of of that with a little extra mustard on it, and I mean, do they want more stage stuff or or practical stuff? Uh, Takeaway? Do, they do one of these a week. Okay. Like, so don't don't worry about appealing to everybody. Appeal to exactly who you are, and that's why they want you. Yeah. Like, so if it is more stage stuff, then do more stage stuff. Like, don't worry about like oh, I'm not doing enough close up. Like, I'm not doing it. Well, and that's what I figured, right? Is because I have I have an awful lot to say that I think is is fairly insightful to anybody who is serious about doing magic uh, in terms of talking about, like, the horse shit that you get fed by a lot of folks who talk about what they're going to do and not do it. And, and I would love to talk about the difference between sit around, uh, jerking yourself off, talking about the theory and how you have pictured the perfect show, but you're just waiting for the right set of curtains and you can't go out and do it with the wrong set of curtains. <laughs> yeah. 
you know. So um, I would say for them, here's what they want. Uh, Jesus, that was quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the 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 what they will want and what they won't want is they will want tricks like tutorial step 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 tricks, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they will like stories, but you better punctuate them with tricks. And they will like they will like philosophy, but they want them punctuated with tricks. Like that is what that crowd hungers for. Yeah, well, that's fairly easy to do. If if I have the scam school, if I have stuff that I've done on scam school before to to grab from, I could talk about the. Uh, yeah, no, this. I mean, uh, and here's what you do. I, I I just don't know how to like. If I was doing everything straight through, I think that would be easier. But the fact that there's one night of just performance. And one night of just lecture has me a little bit worried. Also, take the melodica with you. <laughs> Whenever shit goes sideways, I just grab it. Uh, so here's what you do. I mean, number one, here's the thing is I think that you might probably have time to do like any kind of meetup because I don't think like, like it is it is lecture based like it is like uh, uh sorry online lecture based like so it's probably going to go from x to x uh and and there it's not going to be like a live show necessarily where i mean there'll be like a bunch of regular people who watch those performances that like it, it's not going to be like oh well, well there we go i mean you might have people you will probably have more people that show up because you have an online audience that will turn out for you yeah which is, uh, i'm sure I, i'm sure a significant part of, to be generous, if not the only, the cynical, accurate view, uh, the re reason I'm on I'm on the roster. Uh, by the way, Yamix in the chat room says, Brian will be able to play one song and one song perfectly. You figured me out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's my jam. That's what I do. I, I know exactly one piano song. So I can sit down and be like, oh, a piano. Blah, 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 blah. And then I get up and I'm like, oh, well, that was fun. Yeah. So what you need to do, because this is the, the best way to roll, is if you do a meetup, you go to Dirty Frank's, and then you hop right next door for the 16-bit bar. That's, that's the best combo in Columbus. Okay. That's, uh, right. Real quick, uh, Demon5, do me a favor. Uh, because you've seen so many lectures, uh, can you email me a set of do's and don'ts uh, that you'd like to see? Because, um, Dude, uh, talk to Andrew. Uh, Andrew Main? He's already done it, yeah. Hmm. He's literally done exactly what you are about to do. Okay. Done. Did everyone did anyone not like him? <laughs> well, I mean Andrew's Andrew's a little different because he's done a little bit more of the like he's magic actually lecture, toured with, let yeah. me teach a trick. <clears throat> well, and that and that's the thing is is uh as you know, my entire magic career has been defined by a rejection of playing the game of what magicians do. Yeah. You know? Uh, from the stage show being the anti-magic show, from scam school being the anti-magic lecture, magic lecture, and so on. So it's just, <clears throat> if I'm feeling any megrams, it's about wanting very much to please the community that first brought me into the art and knowing that I define my entire career of growing up and being outside well, of Well, then, then what you need to do, I mean, number one, your, your, your performance you're going to kill because you've done your performance. You, no, you are, you... no, no, no. That's just it is I don't even know what I'm going to do in the performance because I, I'm i assuming I'm not going to perform anything that I don't plan to teach because that's just going to annoy people. Second of all, it's not going to be a stage show, so I'm not going to be doing polished, polished stuff. It's going to be some kind of parlor hybrid thing um so uh, no but you can you can smash a lot of the shit that you do down and you don't have to like don't worry about that don't worry about like like only doing shit that you're gonna teach because like like let them be annoyed about the two or three things that you do that you don't teach that's fine i think that i don't think that that's out of bounds like having like man i didn't even think about this huh do do your best show right your show is your show like that's, that's the currency uh, uh, like a stage show or just smash it down. Like, like do like, like if you were to play the, 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 the close up room at the magic castle, yeah. How do you smash your stage show down to that size. Sure. Like, sure. Um, I guess, um, yeah, no, no. I, I mean, I could do the 30 minute, 25 minute set that, yep. that we did in the, at the magic castle. Um, uh, Oh shoot. Look at this. There's, there's the man. That happens. I'm going to show you some really cool close-up magic. 
If we pretend for a moment that money is not real, that it's liquid, then slide it. I'm going to show you some platform and some stage magic that's taken me around the world. Just scream, just scream if you start to feel pain. Okay. We may have brain damage. All right. Oh, is that brain? Ew. I'm going to show you how to build an illusion using stuff you probably already have in your house. Have you ever seen a balloon where the nozzle is on the inside? That would look like this. There's a playing card inside of there. Ooh. Get ready to play with your cards, your newspapers. Do it the hard way. Dude, this is, well, and also a lot of this is was in the lecture that he did in Austin that I saw. And I liked quite a bit. Frightening stuff, scary stuff. Car. Oh, so my favorite audience bits is. Ah, 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 ah. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm going to read your mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here's what you need to do. Yeah. Like, just literally do the best live show you can, and then in your lecture, like you're you're not going to do an instructional lecture, like. Andrew's going to do, right? You're not going to do one like Danny Garcia is going to do, right? Yeah. What you're going to do is like, hey, you've seen those. You've seen like like a bunch of instructional stuff. Now let me let you understand like how you take that stuff and take it to what you will see in a polished show like mine because there is a million miles between learning the trick mechanically and making it take you around the world stage proficient and that's what i'm the expert at and let me walk you through that so you walk them through the elements of your act that like so here's here's my only question is uh, because the most polished parts of my act uh are uh, not rocket science um you know the uh uh for example the fire eating routine let's say let's say i did that in there and i could talk through the fundamentals here's some things to know about fire eating here's the basics of it you really ought to read the book but you know again that's what demon five said please don't be that guy who does the thing and tells people to buy his dvd um but like will people buying the lecture suddenly perceive that that well i saw the lecture i paid to see it i get to do this act okay well all right uh go see a little bit yep. the reason why you're doing this lecture is because uh Penguin wants them to buy your DVDs that they're probably also going to buy from you in bulk uh, and that they want to push on their site while you're lecturing. And and like the fact that people also buy your lectures and they don't do them for free is just a brilliant way that Penguin has like made out on both ends that you get to pay for the advertisement and for what they really want, which is for people to buy the DVDs afterward uh, and the books afterward. That being said, uh, if you, if you focus, there's more than what you think is worth it to people in explaining how and why you do what you do, how and why you choose what you choose, what you think when you show up to a venue and you understand what space you have, the decisions that you make, what you pack, how you've packed everything down to the certain caseloads, how you choose your airlines to make sure that that you are able to fly for the certain amount of price, how you price everything, like what you are an expert at. You're not going to I mean like again, like you're you're not going to do Andrew Maine's, "Hey, let me just give away the secrets to five of the seven DVDs that I have on sale right now," right? But what you can do probably better than anybody who can explain, I mean, you can certainly explain it better than anybody else is how you put together an act that will show you up on television and that will like pay your rent for 10 years. Right. And, and build yeah. you a business and a career. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, all right, boss. Uh, I will call Andrew Maine. Also call Andrew because he'll, he'll, he'll know more of it. Uh, also ask him about the dirty Frank story when he was in Columbus. Okay. I'll tell you it, but just ask him. I will. I will. I will. Uh, hot beverages has something. Is this? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Mm. Uh, hey, have you looked at your Wikipedia page recently? Uh, no, should I? No, I uh, I hadn't looked at mine in a long time, and I, I saw that yours had fleshed out nicely, and uh, 
And I saw that mine was very, very different than I remember any of it. But your shit looks dope. Look how, no, no, no. Look, uh, well, I mean, I guess you could look back. But, but, but I mean, like, specifically, Justin's look looks super well sourced. Well, yeah, it's no longer a uh, exists, no longer up for deletion. Right? Yeah. And yeah. also, no longer my fucking asshole friend jared put the goddamn like super drunk picture <laughs> Hotline Monday, yeah unfortunately now nice. now i'm the one behind the eight ball right where it's like mine still there's a reason that picture is what everyone uses because that's the most prominent picture of yours truly uh oh dude there it is co-creator of the contender yeah hey what are you talking about man After your things. shit looks sourced as fuck uh well, yeah, I, I, I guess that that was my whole point. Where, I, I don't know. I guess, um, yeah, I guess. Hair. Oh yeah, there's a section right. on hair. Got your books with the Scam School books. Are these? Is this current? Nope. Your podcasts are not current. Yeah, not so much. Mostly, but mostly though. Yeah. They mostly come at night. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know what's funny is uh, they're fairly generous on the list of failed projects that I've done in that they don't list literally all of them. Uh, oh yeah. Hey, uh, what are we gonna what are we gonna do on the next album, Justin? We have like three albums worth of material that's just we looking for a good do editor on the next album. Wait, did we get all the other shit that we thought we'd lost from Spearmint Nitrate? I don't know. We talked about it. No, just, I think he sent it to us, and we just left it in I mean, our email. Pro probably, I don't know, Justin. It's, <laughs> we we got a few people in the email saying that they have got experience putting together albums and stuff. Would would uh, they like to? I mean, understand you got to listen to a lot of horseshit, a lot of horseshit from us. Yeah, it sounds like you guys have a pretty large. I mean, there's some really good stuff in there. Yeah. I mean, there's the whole. We never even put the whole like. To me, the funniest shit we've done in a long time has been the lawyer shit. And, like, that was, like, we did a solid fucking five tracks on that. And maybe two of them got made into Spearmint Nitrate bits. But there's, like, man, there's... there's oh, by, the, by, by the way, on the, on the ride out yesterday, on the 4th of July, I passed by that billboard for... Da uh, a new yes. billboard for David Comey, the lawyer that I two different rocks. ones the past week. <laughs> there's one very close to my house. And Skeen. Uh, I am a Jew and I'm gonna help you. <laughs> Fresh. The fucking uh did was there did anybody ever make anything out of the musical lawyer? Uh oh my god. That I wanted to be a musical theater actor. <laughs> I don't I don't did, even know that we ever released all that stuff. No, I don't think anybody unless uh, they remember it. No, it's just all I remember is the lyric that like I wanted to play. The baseball game. <laughs> Instead, it's the law for you, I'll tame. I. Hmm. <laughs> the baseball game. I do. Remember I just that. remember the lyric to the baseball game. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> no, I mean, like, it's not about having Mechanical Turk scrub the track. It's literally like. Just combing it down. Curation. To like 20 yep. tracks. That would basically be effectively a double album like we've done for all of them. Well, And, and there's there's two things. It's like we need somebody to uh, figure out which of the tracks are the good ones and then figure out where all the beats are, that it's there's dead air, that there's a line that doesn't go anywhere, that it's like, oh, but we condense once, this. But like, like once we just get the – like. The, the the rough stuff like that's where we can listen to it and be like okay well let's cut that or let's like let's trim that down and then like put this here and, and order it in a certain way right sorry just remember the lyric the baseball game <laughs> fuck man let me just all right real quick let's yeah, just please, see, if please we can find see if we can find it let's just see if we can find if spearmint nitrate sent it back to us because i'm almost positive that he did oh, uh, uh, actually if you look on the uh on the FTP, uh, Bryce, I bet you can see it under uh, a certain directory. Um, okay. You'll have to look for, for some of the other lawyer bits. Oh. Whew. All right. 
Spearmint nitrate. God damn it, we just emailed too much with this guy. Oh, old recordings, Dropbox. We got it. Mm. Great, now they know it's on Dropbox. America. Somebody said that every time he sees the word America, he hears that voice that made me very happy. Wait, poet tweet? You elucidate? Oh, never mind. Oh, Jesus, it's six fucking gigs. Yeah. How do you download this hot shit? Oh, download. There's the gigantic button. <laughs> I wanted to play the, the baseball, baseball game. game. Oh, God. Oh, fuck, man. I swear to God, this is going to bring the goddamn house down in my head, or it'll not be as funny as it was when we recorded it. I mean, it. that's the problem, right, is, is yes, I always remember everything being the funniest thing we've ever spoken for most, most of those. Um, I mean, those I know were funny because the ones that we, the ones that he made into ice cold opens were really funny. And I'm almost positive I remember listening back to that one. Hmm. <laughs> Sunbun says bookmarklet was the 2016 Merriam Webster, <laughs> Webster word, of word of the year. <laughs> oh shit, wait, there's a there's somebody bitching about us? Wait, who? The Outlander cast. Hey everybody, it's hey Mary guys. Larson. And my name's Blake. And we are the host of Outlander Cast. We just wanted to thank all of you who took the time, lots of time lots. recently, <laughs> to vote in the podcast awards. The podcast awards just ended. We are going to be putting on Game of Thrones in just a few moments, but we wanted to come on and thank you. Sadly, we didn't win. Did win. I, I, it's like it's hard. <sighs> it, it's hard to hold back my disappointment. I'm not going to lie. And it's not because we didn't win. It's because you guys put so much work into voting voting uh and, and nominating I, and I, i'm disappointed for you guys uh because you you just you tried so hard and uh and nominated uh, vote nominated us number one voted for us oh you, you want to skip to 230 here um, we go all right skipping now to 230 will it play Oh no. It doesn't <sighs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh it won't scrub. It won't scrub. Hey, it's yeah. Larson. And my name's Blake. Oh no, not from the beginning! Fuck you, Facebook video, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fucky. Yeah, alright, I'm sorry, man. If it won't scrub, then it won't rub. And if it won't Shit's rub, way too complicated for me. Uh, yeah, if, I don't know. If somebody can figure out a way to, oh, uh, maybe it's fucked up because I'm downloading. I don't know, Bryce. Can you scrub it? Uh, I don't, I don't, who cares? All they're gonna say, like, well, some of us didn't have a program. Well, we're trying to kill six Everybody minutes while I don't. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. So we just wanted to say we're sorry, and we thank you, and we love you, and thank you so much for doing everything that you could. We just gotta do better. We just gotta do. We got. See, here's the problem. I'm super effing competitive. I'm like, I'm just wicked competitive, dude. And and some of these shows have what they're called like a network or something. So it's yeah. um, like networks meaning that these people have like tons and tons of different shows. So. If a couple of shows have a lot of fandoms, they'd be like, hey, you vote for my show and I'll vote for your right. show. So maybe their show doesn't have a lot of followers, but they're part of the network. And that means they got all of the network votes. Right, right. Because people kept seeing something like, thank you, Diamond Club. And we were like, what does Diamond Club mean? Yeah. And then we looked and we were like, oh, yeah. it's like being in a fraternity and you know the hands, handshake. <laughs> and we, we didn't know the handshake, guys. We're just a mom no, and no, pop F podcast. That. F that. We have our own handshake. We got the Outlander. We got the Outlander community. You guys are our diamond. Club. Oh man, you missed it. You missed a great what, what moment. Told, yeah, it's a hey, should have been should have been this. Should have been. Uh, yeah, I got a I got a handshake for you. This. Yeah. 
Uh, and I shake my own hand every night. <laughs> By my hand, I mean my dick. My um, dick. No, and we're uh, best friends. It's dude. a secret handshake that ends in jizz. Oh, okay, stop. Time <laughs> I'm now thinking. I hope they don't watch us. Uh, they know they seem like perfectly cool guys, and they're 100% right. Yeah, there's uh, it turns out if by network they meant a highly passionate group of self organizing fans, uh, that all of the internet should cower in terror of, then yeah, that's uh, that's what I mean. I can't blame them, right? Because the podcast awards apparently this was recorded literally like they they, they read they read the shit from the podcast awards, so sure. it's like listen, man, the kids get it from TV. If we're still going to allow MC Hammer and Tawny Katain to, to, you know, uh, corrupt our kids, then, like, what can we expect for, from how they come out, right? I think you put it really well on the jury show, uh, Justin, that, like, this wasn't a huge splash we made. It's just the podcast awards is very small. Like, we <sighs> okay. we All got right. outvoted in a couple of... Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's not throw shade and dig a hole uh, deeper than the hole that's well, already built. Uh, go listen I mean, to that episode of Jerry then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Well, I don't know. I, I wasn't so much talking about us as much as like the podcast awards in general. I think that, that, that there has been a. I was introduced to the idea of the podcast awards several years ago when gigantic podcasts that I listened to were winning the awards. Like Sam Shoe. Like Sam Shoe, two thousand nine. What like what has happened since then is those uh, people are not allowed to to compete anymore. Uh, they they have won too much. Their fans have been too passionate, and now they have been told they are not welcome. Such a bad idea. And what I was trying to get at in that jury episode was that, uh, to me, if Godzilla is smashing your city the point is not to ban godzilla the point is to invent mecha godzilla yeah or and, and to invite mothra, mothra. You, you yeah. call mothra on the phone and be all like oh man you'll never believe who knocked down all these buildings oh you won't believe it it's the g-dog i mean because there's a lot of like behind the scenes stuff that like for to be honest t2t2 did for us like again None of us would have nominated ourselves on time on our own volition if T2T2 did not send an email saying, hey, by the way, it's time to nominate yourself. Here's the link. Yeah. Like, that's why it happened. Our fans pushed us to make sure that we were all going to do it. Uh, and, and, you know, if the podcast awards were more concerned about the awards themselves, they would be catering to these larger podcasts to bring them in so they competed against each other and therefore brought in the most amount of votes. Well, that's, that's what I meant. I wasn't trying to. Yeah. I mean, change. also, we know how many votes we pushed in. Like, I mean, come on. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. 51 seconds until this is done downloading. <laughs> Wait, and so, uh, and then once it's downloaded, you're going to, what, unzip it, and that'll take time, and then unpack it? Uh, and then hopefully there will be up. one thing that will say musical lawyer, <laughs> we'll play it, and then we will be out. I was about to say, like, I've seen the script, man. <laughs> the script is, you get it, then it takes a while to unzip, then we listen to about 27 wrong tracks, and then we hear one that we want to hear again, that we haven't heard for a while, somewhere around. 1.30 a.m. Maybe we get the musical lawyer. And guess what? Spoiler alert. Not as funny as we remembered. Number one. If there's not anything called musical lawyer, we're not playing any of them. Okay. We're not playing any of them. I'm literally just looking for a file that's called musical lawyer. Also, I saw the script. It's not called musical lawyer, but you play it anyway. <laughs> because it's like, oh, it says Broadway lawyer. That's the one. Let me play it. That's a fair point. <laughs> when do you think we recorded this? July? Oh, oh God damn it. I, mother, I knew this. I knew this. All right. Uh, find the ice cold open with. Um, uh, oh, Ed here Steve. we go. Here we go. Is it called right. Musical Lawyer? What do you think it's either Ed Finkelstein musical <laughs> or Sue Finkelstein? It's Ed Finkelstein lawyer. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got lawyers. That Turn up. Hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. All right. 
God damn it, where's the volume? That try to appeal to different sub demographics. I got another one. What? Ed Kappelmuller. <laughs> yeah, what does he do? Brony attorney. Oh, shit. When the law is tragic, friendship is magic. <laughs> my attorney, my <laughs> attorney. <laughs> ah, my legal attorney. He's going to blow your mind with his. <laughs> legal knowledge my legal attorney he knows the law better than you his cutie mark is a log of law book he doesn't care what age you are that might have been a problem in the past but not anymore my little attorney i never knew what freedom would cause all right so what what else do you think what other sub culture what, what other subreddit has an attorney that's fucking marketing himself to oh, them oh shit son uh, I was going to go the reverse. Like, what are the jobs besides attorneys? Oh, no. They are all attorneys. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, mm. What about Broadway musical attorneys? Oh, yes. The curtain never closes on <laughs> Dick Mursty. Or better yet, it, it's like it's a musical. It starts off like, oh, here I am, trapped in jail. What am I going to do? <laughs> I need a lawyer, somebody strong, somebody to set me free. Everybody, if it was just, he was on the set of like a regular law commercial, like with like the book yes, and everything, yes. the one that's been around since 85. Oh, oh, I say reverse it. So it's the lawyer singing. He's in the middle of it. Like, so wherever you are, call me, Ed Green Screen, the lawyer man. And then the screen goes green, spotlight goes on him. And you go like, if they only knew. <laughs> How alone I, I felt. <laughs> I didn't want to be a lawyer at all. I wanted to play the baseball game instead of <laughs> the baseball. <laughs> With the sticks and the balls and the gloves, the crack of the bat, the, the audience <laughs> chant. <laughs> The peanuts and the balls. <laughs> oh, if I wasn't an attorney, I could have it all. Oh! Ed Greenspan is a licensed attorney in the state of Nevada. I stand <laughs> corrected. I stand corrected, sir. <laughs> I wanted to play the baseball, baseball game, game. <laughs> with the sticks and the gloves and the balls, <laughs> especially the balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we nailed it. We nailed it. <laughs> man, there's some gold in that shit. I, it, we, we, we should, um, man, I feel like we should invite one editor, somebody who can be the architect of the next album, fly them down and treat this like a Swiss uh, uh, Swiss deposit box. All right, so a lawyer for hipsters. What does that look like? All right. So he's on a fixie bicycle. Oh, yeah, this, sure. Oh, this was an ICO. A... <laughs> His knees are like popping into the screen here and there as he's paddling along. Uh, he's wearing a full suit. Yes. Of course, but but, but but it's uh but it's like from a from a nineteen uh, forties. Oh no, all yeah. vintage. It's like tweed. He's, he's got he's got. In fact, it's actually in a, a World War II private's <laughs> uniform <laughs> that he's wearing. And he's got a but yet a German pin helmet. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> it just ironically he starts off with the Sig Heil. <laughs> just to show how cool he is and unafraid to break no, stereotypes. He does the sick aisle, and then he looks in the camera and makes a jerk off motion. <laughs> Rolls his eyes. Like, okay, yeah. And then it just says, you know what it's for, and there's an 800 number. <laughs> Go hit the music. Hit the music. We're not doing better than that. Just do one. Do, do, do one more. Do one more. No, you want to push the fucking our luck? Those were the two I knew that were funny. There's one that's called Racist Track Avoid. <laughs> just, let me hear just a second and kill it the moment I hear. 
What's left? We covered it all. Uh, Stop, kill, it. Oh, kill, it. Oh, kill it. 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 There's also one called Fadix and Girthers. <laughs> Wait, Fadix and Gerta? Girthers. Girthers? Oh, Jesus. Look, we're not trying to go nowhere. Let's just have a, right. a funny conversation. Wait. Rando thought. Yeah. Can we corrupt a phrase? And we've done this before by accident, but can we set out on purpose to corrupt a phrase such that anyone listening to this... Have you... Do you remember where this goes? Hell no. Okay. Neither of us have any memory of this whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll not be able to hear it without thinking mm. of it and getting tickled. Fat dicks. <laughs> oh, man. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that, faddicks. That, Normally you say oh, faddicks. <laughs> you know, faddicks. like yeah. those are people addicted to fat dicks. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry, I'm a fat. <laughs> what can I do? Oh, no, 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 no. Hold home, length. It's only faddicks for me. <laughs> I'm a faddick. <laughs> Help! I'm a faddick. <laughs> If you ask me, then you'll say I'm kind of manic. Cause when it comes to fat dicks, I gotta get my fix. I'm a fatic through and through. And if you say from me to you, I'm a fatic. Hey man, fatic is not the preferred nomenclature. We're called girthers. <laughs> It's the music! It's the music! This is the we can't go any further! Oh god damn it. Fucking better than Hamilton, they say. <laughs> oh. Oh. What else, Brian? What else you got? What's I, you gotta the... shut it down, right? Uh, well, I, I don't know what uh, you know. You don't. They don't just say. You press... told me. I saw the script. We played three, and none of them are funny. We played three. They've all been funny. We can't play anymore. We gotta go away. Well, okay. Big money, no whammies. Stop. <laughs> are you saying I just pick one more? I'm just saying let's press our luck. All right, this is the D-man lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do, do you know who I bet is a lawyer? Who's a lawyer? Uh, the D-man. <laughs> I bet uh, he, he appeals. It took me a second to remember yeah. the D-man. <laughs> he appeals to, if I remember correctly, the local uh, Native American yes. casino. <laughs> yes. Hi, is this is this the D man? <laughs> I I had an accident. I was drinking. I need help. Are you? <laughs> yes, it is me, <laughs> the D man. track that I fell over during. I feel like this is me falling on the floor. You forgot the fact. <laughs> and we went full circle to the fact that he was oh, Native God. American. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, my name is the D-Man. <laughs> Alright, let's start. We can do an actual D-Man direct. <laughs> Alright. That's it. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. Love you guys. Uh. Yeah, next Tuesday. Eat up your dicks. Yeah,